All right, first spot of the day, following the Keys trip, that was a big D, big D word. Not disaster, but disappointment. Um, huge disappointment. Uh, I wanted to start fishing a spillway. It's a little up the road. I'm gonna try here first because uh, I feel like losing a rig, and this looks like a place where I will lose a rig. Here for snapper, what's that? Oh, come around. Here for snapper. Um, supposed to be multiple species of snapper, including a cubera, which I don't have, which I would love to get. Um, now this is, this place looks very rocky. Um, seen some mullets skipping around out there. Uh, as you can see here, looking down, it's from South Florida, so everything is covered in trash and garbage. It's just, in Florida in general, America in general, but Florida specifically, just terrible people. Just pollution everywhere of the, you know, it's, there's no shortage of trash cans in Florida. There's no shortage of public stores and restaurants that have big trash cans out front of them that you can deposit your trash in. Don't want to do it apparently here. And I, I grew up in this state and I, I don't understand. See the first take of the day, but here it is, a little yellowfin mahana. <laughs> it's the smallest one I've ever caught. So you'll make a terrible picture. Suck. Oh boy. So, yeah, yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Alright, uh, I have got, a, got an idea of where I might be able to get some like actual fish of size, but it's needlefish sitting right here. And I am, as ever, a species fisherman. So, I'm gonna try to go ahead and uh, Got it, got it, got it, got it. Get it in your mouth. There you go. Let's see if he's got red fins. Who would know? <laughs> Who could say? In this kind of muck. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. No keel. No red fins. No black. It's uh, an Atlantic needlefish, kind I always catch. So, just take a picture, let him go. Just doing a little, little species racking right now. This is the trip of needlefish, apparently. Looks like a cormorant. He's got a fishing line in his mouth. That's too bad for him. He's eating some, he's trying to eat a piece of bread off the bottom. Yeah, somebody hooked him. Oh, you know what? I was going to use the, that, put that little yellowfin mahara on a hook, see if I could uh, catch something a little bigger on it. But that guy, saw him swimming around, I knew that he was gonna be a problem. Being filmed, another mohar, different mohar though. Third species so far of the fish variety today. Oh, he's gonna be tough to ID. He's a little guy. These guys are tough enough when they're not this little. All right, let me take some pictures. Looks like he's got some spot dark on his fin. Yep, all right. Birds on here. Oh yes, what you got here, little schoolmaster. Oh no, is it a schoolmaster or is it a dog? It's a schoolmaster, look at that beautiful fish. You know I saw some snappers around the corner there. Nice. Weird was going on down there. <clears throat> and this is what was weird going on down there. Who knows what kind of uh, toadfish this is. 
but uh, I'm going to get my gloves to handle this guy. Ah, he stole it away from... That's pretty pretty markings. Things keep stealing my bait and preventing the, uh, the snappers from getting it. So I'm Well, got a little sailor's choice grunt here, I think, or something like that. So it appears to be, well, oh, no, no, no. wait a minute. This traps are going that way, and then down from the top, it's probably sailor's choice. But you never, there's three, the seas are in the, uh, Spanish both look very similar too. at this size. I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, I thought sideways here are the oblique bands, but we'll see. We'll see what the picture shows. This is a good bait fish size too. On a shrimp. Wow. On shrimp. <laughs> wow. Uh, you want them? I, I, I don't. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? I gotta, I'm going to put him in the cooler and do that because I'm running out of shrimp too. <laughs> Definitely a PB for me. On shrimp, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I'm guessing this is a white mullet with the the yellow on the face. The things there. All right, let's take a nine. Nine in there. Shoo! That's a nice, nice, nice job. And they finally have a new species. I think this is a sharp-nosed puffer. Or no, a band tail uh, puffer. I'm going to just say, because it has a band on the tail. But you will not stop wiggling around. Look at that beautiful thing. And just like that, I might eat species, no less. Crazy. I'm going to puff them up. All right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Happy to be having a productive day thus far. The mullet got, got me off of the schneid for the small fish or the big fish totals, and uh, the puffer got me off the schneid for the uh, uh, new species. So, man, it's just a lot of little fish here. So. And again, in April, maybe the big fish aren't up here yet. Maybe this is a really good place for snapper. Different time of year, summer. Maybe there aren't any snapper yet in uh, Volusia County where I was uh, my first day of the trip. We don't get there until at least end of May, usually. Maybe one or two will show up earlier. But they really get there in numbers in May. But I mean, this is Miami, Homestead, the Keys. They ought to be here year round, I would think. There it is, another one on cue. Well, this is actually a little smaller than the other one's perfect bait size. I'm going to go over now to the spillway and see if I can scare up this one. God, GoPro, you suck. I don't know. Hopefully, it caught the catch and then turned off because it sucks. Dog snapper on a mohar. 
the grunts are a great snook size, but the, as soon as they hit the water, they go belly up. I'm not sure what the problem is, but uh, mohar stay alive, and this thing smacked it when it got close to shore. So hopefully I can get a bigger one or find one of those snook. Oh, 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 those are, uh, those are uh, not mosquito fish down at the bottom there. I don't know what those are exactly. Need to get it up over the, the Tanago line knot. Uh, so you can drop it down where both the uh, uh, mosquitoes and cichlids can get to it. Wonder what kind of, or I probably spotted some fish. I wonder what kind of fish are hardy enough to survive with this hideousness in the air. Come on, how are you not hitting that? Yeah, Biggie, come on, Biggie. I see you looking at it. Yeah, you want it. Take it. Take it. Come on, take it. Oh, I hate you. What is wrong with you? Yeah, go a little deeper. Maybe that extra inch will give them a little more confidence. Probably not. There you go. There you go. It's a jewel. Yeah. That was a jewel being that timid. I guess because he's out in the open. Uh, looks like an AJF. Looks like I see a little... Uh, yellow operculum ring. That's species 10. Number one in fresh. I just about fell in there trying to get this guy. I don't know what it is, but he came up and took it. The thing is a black chin tilapia? I don't know what that is. A blue tilapia. It's got blue on his face. That's probably what it is. I don't know. That is a wild looking cichlid. Be better if you wouldn't drop it again. Maybe get a clean shot of him. God suck. All right, probably blue tilapia. That is a really cool looking whatever it is. The little guy all by himself. He's so little he's walking on top of the bead, on top of the, the weeds. Oh, here comes mom. Oh, there's another one. This is so cool. I've never seen these chicks before. Uh, I forget what kind of bucks this is. Skip, 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 skip. Such beautiful animals.